The latest information on Project Zomboid's Build 42 is here. It involves an amazing fresh look at the expansion to the vanilla map and some further insight about the coming functionalities that certain machines will possess which sound very exciting. Getting right into what this new functionality really means, they begin by explaining that they have been scripting a new system for the UI of all the machines in-game. This of course spans from simple fire alarms all the way to things like the new crafting stations and even stuff like vending machines. This new framework will make it a lot easier for the devs and modders to create interfaces within all kinds of these devices which will allow for some unique interactions in them, such as what they show here in this video with the vending machines having this incredible looking menu which allows you to put money inside one slot, press the button that corresponds to the item you want to buy, and then retrieve your purchase item from the slot on the bottom. My favorite part about this video though is that it shows us that these vending machines will have an operator key which lets you open it up and do things like restock and swap out the items inside as well as collect the money that was put in allowing us to create player owned shops since you'll be able to put whatever you want into the vending machine like ammunition and probably weapons along with the obvious food and drink items. Just imagining what could be possible with this new framework gets me very excited for the future of mods for the game as well as what other things the devs will allow us to do when all of the in-game machines utilize this new code. The next big thing we are informed of is that they are working on improving and polishing Discord integration which will be very good for roleplay servers or just servers in general. Right now, they have it so that chat messages within the game can be transmitted to Discord and vice versa but apparently it currently doesn't work as well as it should be. On top of improving this, they are also going to make it possible for Discord server owners to input LUA code which will then be executed in the game. This will be great for creating timed events on a server. The other thing these improvements will allow for is admin made TV and radio scripts which will be perfect for roleplay servers. The last few things we get to check out this week are somewhat small but nevertheless exciting and well worth mentioning. The first detail is that they've been working on improving the sandbox menu and the mod menu. The sandbox menu will now have a search bar because of all the new options they've been adding. There will also be some simplification to the menu for ease of access along with new advanced settings. It seems like the mod menu will have similar improvements, simplifying the addition of mods and just making everything easier in general. The next small thing they mention is that they have been working on some of the behind the scenes stuff for the new farming overhaul which includes some of the UI, some decisions on what you learn at which skill levels, and some fixes to some of the work in progress animations we have seen before. After that we get a new peek at a rural area in the brand new map expansion. This video shows a ton of cool stuff like a train car that you can pass through because it's been burnt down, and a swimming pool which hasn't been seen in this game yet. Pretty much everything that's shown off here is fantastic, and it just makes me want this update even more. It looks like our new map expansion will be pretty unique compared to the rest of the map. Finally, we get to see some more of the new hats and new masks being added, and they all look great. It looks like we will finally get to go trick-or-treating in Project Zomboid. That was all we had this time. It seems that with each new dev post, Build42 somehow keeps looking better and better. There's so much to look forward to, it's getting hard to keep track. What I do know though is that this update is going to be huge and Project Zomboid will never be the same afterwards.